Yo, what is up, everybody? I'm Sergeant 7 8. My name is Scott. Today, I'll be doing something a little bit different for you guys. I'm doing an advanced warfare best class setup for the KF5. So, as you can see, my sexy on there, the FC Barcelona emblem. Anyway, jump into this um, class. So, we got the Elite KF5, which is the KF5 breaking it. So, we'll have a look at the stats now. So, we've got 3 plus fire, which makes it deadly at like close range, only a couple of doors to kill. And then it takes down 1 accuracy, which isn't too good, but still, 1 accuracy isn't too bad. Seeing if you're going to be at close quarters, you're going to get the hit by kills with the, uh, with the handling and the fire rate. You get hit by kills easily, and the mobility means you basically just run around the map really, or run around with the gun really fast. So, basically, makes it you can kill fast with the. Um, it's got pretty good damage as well for some of you can get a machine gun, I must say. But, se 7 damage, so that's pretty good. And then you've got the range, it's not too good, but if you're running around the map, it's pretty good. Uh, it, it doesn't ra really matter too much. But we've got the fire rate, we've got 3 extra fire rates, so it's going to kill you them fast. You got some good handling there, so look at some good hit fire kills and then the mobility. You run around with it belly fast. I uh, also you have this one here. I would not use this one at all, even though you get two extra range. You take down two of the most important one of the well, at least the most important thing is damage, and then also accuracy, which is up in there with one of the highest ones that you need. So would not recommend that. So if you don't have the um, break net one, just use normal care parks. It's still pretty beast. But anyway, we get onto the attachments now. So without having the um, normal one, we got. Because we've got the elite one, you only have a certain amount of attachments to choose from. So what I've chosen is I've, I've used the, um, the wild card, which is the primary gunfighter. And picked that. So I've got three attachments on there. I've got the red dot sight, which basically is... Well, if there's, there's someone shooting it, if you're trying to shoot someone at long range, and you're like, okay, I have to try to aim at him. It's just hard with the iron sights, I guess. So unless you have, like, amazing, like, aim, the um, red dot sight is basically the best for it. And as well... I know myself, I don't have the best as we see, and in this game, it's probably going to go down a lot compared to other quads because basically, exo suits, people jumping around the map everywhere. How are you obviously meant to kill them when you only have an iron sight, and the render side basically just makes it track on, or lock onto them, I guess, easier. So then we go into foregrip now, so this reduces recoil, so once again, shooting at long range or even close range. You normally, if you're trying to line up a headshot from long range, you probably fire a few bullets and probably miss, and then finally, probably get him and eventually get him probably in the chest, so. This foregrip is basically when it's, um, it stops the recoil from going upwards. So yeah, basically it basically makes you more accurate. So that's basically tough for getting kills. Like it sort of blends in with the red dot. Anyway, suppressor. This is one that I wouldn't normally choose just because on the normal KF5 I would have chosen stock just to make sure my aims on better. So that's basically all my attachment I normally use to make me get my accuracy good. But because I can't do that, I chose suppressor. And this is type the one type of the thing in this class that I'm telling you about that makes you type from the assassin. So, the first part about this, you don't want people seeing you when you're on the minimap running around. You're like, oh, okay, we'll run around, get some kills. You don't want the, you know, your bullets coming up in the minimap. So this basically just makes you invisible to the minimap, as most of you probably already know. Apart from the people who have this parabolo, uh, parabolic, whatever it is, microphone, so they can see your suppressed weapons. But I don't think many people use that. So I think this is a pretty good idea. You run around the map, people can't see you. You get flank kills, get um, kills to the middle, and people still can't see where you're killing them from in the mini map. So that's the first move, the step, uh, the first type of thing in this class for the stealth type of things. So we move on to the perks now, and this is where we have the second type of the stealth type of thing. We got low profile, so invisible to UAVs, tracking rounds, and exo ping. So I, I know a lot of the time when you play domination, which I have gotten to like a lot in this Call of Duty. Um, like, you basically, if you, the UAVs, I think it's got 400 score you need, so it's basically a capture and a kill. Or capture and maybe two kills, depending on what UAV, if they upgrade the UAVs or not. So, it comes up a lot in Domination, I know, and even in UA, uh, even in Team Deathmatch. If you go on a 5 kill streak or a 4 kill streak, you get a UAV. So, basically, if you want to, if you want to stay off the map and try to get good kill streaks and good, um, yeah, get a good kill streak, get a good KD and all that, you want to run this class just so then you're invisible from the map, so that's number two in the Assassin's type of thing. And then lightweight, so you run around the map really fast. One, you already do that with the, uh, with the submachine gun, and so it's got good mobility as well. But lightweight, you just make sure you get away from those, um, like if people shooting you in the back, you quickly you run away. You can you can dash, but probably even running away, you'll probably be able to get past, um, get away from you because it's so fast when you're running lightweight on this class. So perk two now, I always recommend this for my classes: peripherals. So it increases the mini map coverage, take out enemies without displaying their death location. So this is amazing because. I remember going back and I went, I played, what was it, Black Ops 2 the other day, and the mini map is tiny, and I'm like, where the hell, why is it so small, and then I remember, oh, they didn't have this perk, so it makes it basically makes it from a square to a rectangle, so that makes it so good, and you basically can pinpoint your enemies, like, fairly easily, and with their, um, exo abilities going off, where a lot of people jump around, you can see this fairly easily, so I recommend this one really highly, if you do want to go for something else, like with the perk 2 greed, 
go blind eye, but I don't really think it's that good because not many good kills are in this game, I must say. So um, anyway, third perk is Blast Suppressor. This is the final one for the uh, like type of assassin thing. So if you want it, if you don't want people to see you on the mini map, like I said before, with the how the red dots, uh, red circles go around when you jump up in the air. This is what happens. So if you're jumping around the air, you're basically invisible, so they can't see you jumping around the air. Otherwise, if you don't have this on, like I know, if people don't have this on and they jump around the map, I go straight to that part where the circles are. So I think this is really recommended, the Blast Aggressor, so definitely use this one. And if you don't have Scavenger unlocked, go Toughness, but Scavenger basically, you just get MO every time you kill someone, like they or, or anyone gets killed. You run over their dead body, you probably pick up some extra ammo. So that basically just helps you get on good kill streaks as well. So this class basically keeps you from um, people seeing you on the maps, gets you good kill streaks, get you good KD up. So this is basically the best um, one to do. And if you like rushing around like me or rushing around the side of the map flanking people, this is the perfect class. I know scavenger is fairly high to be unlocked, and you're probably like, how do you unlock this? You're on level 29. Well, I took it through the prestige last one, last prestige, the most prestige token, best idea I've ever done. I get so extra high kill streak with so much more kill streaks than um with the scavengers just so um just because I'm not running around with a knife or running around like picking up trying to find another gun then while I'm trying to find someone else's gun on the ground I basically get killed so this is always risk supplying your ammo and basically makes it good so like I said before if you don't have scavenger unlock toughness is the best one the second best one to do apart from scavenger so if you don't have that you flinch less when you uh, when you shot but I recommend highly blast suppressor and scavenger. So I've got the perk 1 greed, the per uh, primary gunfighter, and the perk 3 greed. So you've gone through everything of what I've done so far, except for score streaks. So, you're probably wondering, why does you only have one score streak, and why is it only a UAV? Like, seriously, oh my god. But, the UAV I picked is normally 400, so, yeah, so 400 normally is, but if you don't know, you can customize your kill streaks on this game. So I'm getting an extra speed, so on the mini-map, it comes around faster, so I can find enemies quicker, so then, in case, it goes around really slow, and then you're shooting someone, and you're like, oh, there's no one near me, I'll just reload, and then you get killed in the back, you're like, shit, why did it not come across faster? This basically just makes it come across faster. And then if you want UAV for longer, so you can kill, get people kills without, like, for, longer, for a longer period of time, I guess, so, extra time and speed, so it's only 150 extra scores, so basically one extra kill on Domination, I think. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to get, and it, once you're running around with this on Domination or something, you cycle through the kill streaks fairly, fairly fast, so... It's a fairly good class, I think. So you you got you basically got speed, kill people fast, um, invisible from the UAV, high kill streaks, high KDs, and you run through kill streaks fast. So I think this is basically the perfect class. And once again, no no secondary, no extra ability, no extra launcher, just so I can get extra perks, and only one kill streak just so I can get extra perks, basically as well, and extra attachments. So if you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up. Also comment in the comment section what class you want to see me do next. And also comment if you want to see some gameplay in it, because I may incorporate that into my next video and have me talking over it in the background. But yeah, if you subscribe, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. This will be good, um, good videos in the future. FIFA, COD, GTA, and any other game you want to let me um, want, to, want me to play, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, Miss Oxy Sim, I hope you liked the video. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace. Drinking, keep it low, low.